uh, Tampa area knucklehead who got lost in the woods can breathe a sigh of relief after police were able to find his location and rescue him. Oh, good. But he didn't get to enjoy his freedom for very long. Oh, no. 43-year-old James Robert Lombardi told police that he was in the woods and he, I can't find my way out. Officers went to that area and searched the woods so they found him. But just after they found him and got him safe, they informed him there's a warrant out for his arrest for probation <laughs> violation. Oh, and no. They need to take him to jail. Officers also found him in possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia. Oh, no. Probably why he was lost. He's probably just in the city park. <laughs> he was charged with violation of probation and multiple drug-related offenses. Do you think he knows where he's at now? I think being lost in the woods would have been better than jail, <laughs> you know? Probably. I mean, it's Tampa. How much woods could there be? <laughs> you know? Just walk a little further. You'll pop out of the park somewhere. A 35-year-old Queens, New York knucklehead pleaded guilty to threatening to kill a congressional staff member and making more than 12,000 harassing phone calls to members of Congress wow. in less than two years. Aide Salim Lilly pleaded guilty to threatening to kidnap or injure someone on interstate commerce as well as making repeated harassing telephone calls. The 12,000-plus calls, that's more than 6,526 of which targeted congress congressional offices in Washington, D.C., were made to the offices of 54 members of Congress, according to court records. Plea documents say that Lilly's calls were answered by staff members and interns for members of Congress and that, quote, he would become angry and use vulgar and harassing language towards those who answered the phone. In one instance, Lilly told a congressional staffer, I will kill you. I'm going to run you over. I will kill you with a bomb or a grenade. Gosh. Some staffers would stop answering their phones altogether because of Lily's insistent calls, said court documents, which he targeted one office more than 500 times. Well, they always say if you want to affect change, you got to call your representative. Oh, so wow. I reckon he was just doing what they recommend. <laughs> call your representative, right? <laughs> right. Isn't that what they always say? Yeah, that you is You should reach out and you know contact your... Maybe not like Congressional that. Representative? No? <laughs> no. no. All right. I don't think so. For those of you knuckleheads, you can find those stories wherever you follow us on social media. Just search Mel and Scott in the morning.